everybody. Hope you guys are doing good today. Uh, today I'm going to provide you guys with a couple of Q&A questions. Um, just about what I do, why I do it, and maybe pop in one or two personal questions for those that are curious. Um, okay, I think I will just dive right into it. This is the first video that um, I'm doing of a Q&A. So it's a bit, a bit scary, but um, yeah. So first question is, where did I learn to draw? Um, I haven't studied art or anything like that. I haven't actually got specific qualifications or anything um, for arts or design or anything creative like that. But um, growing up, I think I've always been a bit creative, um, whether it was with drawing or with finding things around the house or Oh, I don't know. I guess I had a lot of alone time when I was little. <laughs> so I found ways to be creative and make the best out of that time. Um, yeah, so I pretty much, pretty much just self-taught. Puppy mischief going on under this table. Mm. So any weird sounds you might hear, it's because of the dogs. <laughs> Um, okay, next question. What services do I offer? Um, I, apart from drawing some of my own drawings and providing the originals and prints, um, mainly of animals um, and sometimes people and landscapes, um, apart from that, I do do commissions for people, um, whether it be their animals or loved ones or it doesn't matter who it is. Um, and I love doing commissions. I love being able to do something that's really special for somebody else. I love having that personal connection and the um, ability to provide something that's special and important to somebody. So I thrive on that. That's really what I work for. It motivates me and it keeps me going and it's really what I love doing. I love doing commissions, I think, above everything else. Um, so. I like to add even more to the commissions because I found that um, with being able to, when when my clients send me pictures of their animals or um, mostly animals, they they give me a story as well, and the stories are so interesting. And you're like, wow, I really would have loved to be around that animal because they sound so fun or they sound like they they've had a really good life. And um, I decided that those stories are worth sharing like so many other people can relate to that kind of thing and they also you know it's it's special and it's nice to be able to to see it to know not just see a drawing of a dog but to see that that drawing that dog um, had a beautiful wonderful life um, so so yes that's the services that I offer but I do love doing commissions, I love how personal it is and I love how other people can relate to it and I, I love the connection it gives me to my artwork as well. My favourite thing to draw is always the eyes and I've had people comment and this is like amazing comments but people comment and say that the drawings tend to come to life the minute I draw the eyes and that's really nice to hear, I, I want to be able to, to do that because that's yeah that's the aim to make it realistic and and real and just personal and nice um okay moving on next question is what mediums do you use i love my color pencils i mainly use prismacolor premier pencils and polychromos um faber castell's polychromos pencils um once my Prismacolor Premier pencils are pretty much done, I am moving on to Caran d'Ache Luminance pencils because, excuse me, my Prismacolor Premier pencils are driving me crazy because they keep breaking all the time. I spend more time sharpening my pencils than I do drawing with them, so it's a bit, it's a bit annoying. I've, lot, I've watched a lot of reviews and a lot of other artists talk about the same issue with them, so I guess it's just an overall manufacturing problem. These pencils, the quality of the pencils have just gone down off over time. But um, it's sad though because they provide so many different colors and they're such a good feel. Like it, it's just such a soft, nice pencil and it just sucks that it has to break all the time. It just, yeah. An artist 
doesn't want to have to deal with those kind of things. Um, yes, um, I don't use pressure to blend because I have very weak wrists. So I use odorless solvents instead. I like using the Art Spectrum odorless solvents. And then um, I would use tissues or earbuds, cotton buds, or even um, various amounts of or various size paint brushes um, to blend, depending on what it is. How big the area is, how small the area is, will depend on what I use to blend. Um, so yes, in terms of other supplies like lighting and cameras and stands and everything else, I will maybe, I'll probably do a separate video of the studio and I'll get all the details about all those things. Um, if you guys are interested in seeing that, then let me know, comment below, and then I will happily provide that for you. Yes, okay, next question. Do you provide any classes or workshops? Um, I don't, um, but it's definitely not something that I'll rule out. I wouldn't mind doing that in the future. Like, I think I would have the ability to teach. <laughs> I guess I could only try. I definitely have a passion for it, and I believe anyone can do it. They just need the patience, and they need to keep doing it, and they... Anyone can draw, it's, and anyone can draw good. They just need to keep trying. That's all it is. Just keep trying and keep persisting, and you'll be able to draw whatever you want. Um, but yeah, for the moment, I don't provide any classes, but um, I'm pretty sure it's something that I'll look into in the future. Um, yes, I have found that um, most of my clients and stuff aren't where I am. Most of them are international, so it does make it a bit difficult because everyone that wants the workshops or the classes aren't even in the same country. <laughs> so it makes it a little bit more difficult, but I'll see how it goes. I guess, um, yeah, time will tell. <laughs> okay, next question. Do you provide tutorials? Um, I have provided uh, three or four tutorials on YouTube and I do want to provide more tutorials, but time has been a bit crazy. It hasn't really been on my side um, for all the extra things. Um, but yes, I will try keep. I will try and do more tutorials. But for the moment, what I have been doing is I've been doing an intro to all my time lapse videos, just discussing any issues that I might have had with that particular drawing, um, or any techniques that I might have used that would have made things a bit easier. So. Um, it's not exactly a tutorial, but there are quite a few answer, uh, questions answered in those kind of things as well. But um, if you want to know more about it, then feel free to ask. I really don't mind answering any questions. Okay. My dogs are going crazy. Honey, Tyler. I'll show you the pooches. What are you doing? Hey? Hey, Taylor. Hey, baby. You say hello? <laughs> Good girl. That was Taylor. Honey has gone there somewhere. <laughs> um, okay, there were two personal questions. Hello, baby. Hello. <laughs> um, where am I from and where am I currently located? <laughs> I am from South Africa. Interference, major interference from the pooches. Look, this is honey. Honey, what are you doing? Oh. Ah, what are you doing? Hey, babies. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Beautiful girls. Hmm? Okay. Um, where am I from and where am I currently located? I am I was born in South Africa and I moved to Australia in 2006 and I finished school over here. I finished my last two years of school um, and then I went on to study for my business commerce degree. Um, during that time, 
of studying I also started working. I did a lot of temp work and just admin roles um, just to yeah pretty much get into the working world and then um, I got more and more involved in the mining and construction um, companies so just um, admin work there and then eventually I started doing FIFO which is for those who don't know, um, fly in, fly out. So I would fly to site um, for a certain amount of weeks and then I would fly back for a certain amount of time for a break. So usually the rosters work like, mine were started off with three and one. So three weeks on site and one week off at home. And then, um, and yeah, um, so we worked up there for a while and that's where I met my man, Vinny. <laughs> And um, yeah, so we eventually decided that we don't want to do fly and fly out anymore, that we want to build a house and um, move to the city and give ourselves more time together, I guess. Um, so that's what we did. We both got work in the city. And then I finished working in 2013 and decided to spend more time with my studies and do some part-time work. Um, I started doing part-time work as a barista um, and then all the spare time that I had I would spend drawing and that spare time was good because that's that's it started last year that spare time was last year and that's what made me build up to this at the moment yes pretty awesome next question <laughs> Um, next question is, am I married or do I have any kids? I am not married yet, no, but I have definitely met my soulmates. I'm pretty sure that it will get to that when we're ready, we're in a hurry. Kids wise, no, but our two kids at the moment are Honey and Taylor, which you were lucky enough to meet in all their craziness. Yes, so they are a handful, but they make us very happy and um, yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. So yeah, I spend most of my time in this room um, with my pooches and draw away. And yeah, it's it's been pretty good. And I plan on doing this forever. Very happy person. I'm not working a day in my life. I'm able to do what I love and I'm able to give people things that make them very happy which is more than i could ask for it's a great reward just doing that on its own and um yes my mind and my heart's very much at peace with the way i'm living um i love this country i love my partner i love my dogs i love my life um i love my friends and the support that i have and i'm very very blessed to have all of that in my life so yes, if you guys have any other questions and you'd like to see another video like this, then please give me a thumbs up and um, provide those comments below with anything else that you'd like to know. And I will be more than happy to, yeah, to tell you whatever it is, depending on what it is. Yes, be appropriate, please. <laughs> okay, um, I wish you guys all a beautiful day and it's been really fun doing this and um, I'll see you guys in the next video.